Since we already had two strikes, if I have to give any other reminders to individuals in class today, you'll be getting lunch detention for tomorrow. Make good choices. You're in middle school now. Time to act like it. Yes, Brody. Yeah, go to the bathroom and to the water. You should have done that when you came into the room because now you're going to be missing things in class. So is it an emergency or can it wait like five minutes? Okay. Please get out your computers and get into Google Classroom. In your Google Classroom, under the Classwork tab, you will see the Thursday assignment, and that's the one that you need to go into. You should click on the Desmos link and open that up. It'll have you join with Google, sign in with Google, it'll have a name, and get yourself in there. This is what it should look like when you're in the right spot. <laughs> Liam. Yeah. Do you need a lunch detention tomorrow? Uh, no. Then please treat your computer with respect. Or you can do things the old-fashioned way by hand. It might take you three times as long, but you can make it happen. All right, we're going to do our reading today in Desmos. Please make sure you follow the directions. Please, they're written on the screen, and I'm going to tell them to you, so you should be able to follow them. All right, we're moving on to slide two. The directions say, using the green marker, so on the little marker symbol, you need to change it to green, and you should also make it as fat as it can get. It says, highlight every word that you understand. So you're literally just going to say, if I know what S means, I'm going to highlight it. Es lunes, el 11 de agosto en Wales. Está un poco nublado y hace fresco. El cielo es de muchos colores. Hay montañas. Please also keep in mind that you should utilize, you know, resources around the room to help you understand Spanish. They're up there for a reason. So highlight all the words that you do understand, that you do know. Whoever this is, you need to erase that. That's inappropriate. Yes, Heidi. Wait, your glasses! Sorry. They're they're old ones because I'm using them. Oh. But um, I don't. I'm not sure how to make my hand bigger. Um. Yeah, Abby. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Looks like el cielo is the least highlighted word. El cielo es de muchos colores. What do we think that is based on the picture? Anna? The sky. The sky. Yes, nice job. All right, moving on to slide number three. It says the directions have changed, so make sure you follow along. First, you're going to highlight any words you don't know in orange. So go ahead and change your marker to orange and then make it fat. So we're going to read through that, and as I read through it, you're going to highlight the words you don't know. You're not drawing on the screen however you want to, or I'm going to give you a zero for this. You're following the directions appropriately. Es el 17 de octubre. El día es sábado. Hace fresco y hay muchas hojas de muchos colores. Es el otoño. Hay agua y muchas rocas. Hay una casa marrón. So you're going to highlight the words you don't know. And when you're done with that, in the text box, you're going to type out the parts you do know in English. You're going to type out what it means in English. If there's a word you don't know, you just leave space there for it. You can just kind of like skip over it. So type what you do know in English. In 
And maybe as you type it out in English and you reread the sentences, you might think of some of the words that you do know. things in English as long as you try. Again, use the resources around the room to help you submit button when you're done. The reason why I'm doing this activity is so that, number one, you can get a little practice reading, and number two, more importantly, I can see what kinds of things you still need extra practice with. Yes, Addie? Also, I'm so ready to next time, um, I didn't feel like always so ready to get started. Okay, I'll open it up so that all of you can go back. Yep. All right, so we're moving on to slide four. All right, it says, read the description of the picture. Check any box if the sentence is true based on the description. You will check four boxes. So that means four of those statements are true. The word I means there is or there are. The word pajaros means birds. Arboles are trees. So I'm going to read through it for you, and then you can, any of these that are true, you can check the box. Again, there's four that will be true. Es lunes. Es junio. Hay muchos pájaros. Hay árboles tropicales. El agua es azul. Está nublado. Hace buen tiempo. Only four of them are true. If you need to go back and finish up any other slides, take a moment to do that now. I'm going to check to see how we're doing on slide four. Liam, you need to try again. Sarah, you need to try again. Ariane, try again. Reread it carefully. Um, any of you that put it sunny, you need to try again. There's nine of you that selected that. It does not say that in the description. Reread it. Use the words around the room to help you. Take your time. Use the words on the whiteboard. Use the words that are typed on the screen for you. Use the calendar if you can see it. Brody? Yes, thank you for waiting. Yep. Fill out the water. CC. All right, about 30 more seconds. Do your best. 
long as you complete it and you try, you will get full credit. And then you can actually put your computers away when you're done. We'll need them at the end of class, but you can put them away for now. Yeah, and you can do that at the end of class too if you don't have time now. All right, I need all of your computers put away in yes. Nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, and I'm sorry, 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 I'm Es lunes hoy, no. sí o no? No. Es martes? No. Es miércoles? No. Es jueves? Sí. Sí, hoy es jueves. Ayer, ayer fue martes o miércoles? Miércoles. Miércoles. What does ayer fue miércoles mean in English, Jack? Yesterday was Wednesday. Sí, perfecto. Mañana, mañana es... Tell me about the temperature. ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? ¿Hace sol? Sí. ¿Hace calor? No. Oh, really? It's not. Okay. ¿Está nublado? No. ¿Hace fresco? Sí. Okay. ¿Hace frío? No. ¿Llueve? No. ¿Nieva? No. Okay. ¿En tu opinión? ¿Hace buen tiempo? ¿Hace mal tiempo? No. Oh. Todos los estudiantes piensan que hace buen tiempo. ¿Qué hace buen tiempo mean en inglés? Anna? It's good weather. It's good weather. ¿Y hace mal tiempo en inglés, Abby? It's bad weather. So, todos los estudiantes piensan que hace buen tiempo means what? Todos los estudiantes piensan que Hace buen tiempo. What does that mean in English? Jordan? Well, what's the first part of it? Todos los estudiantes piensan que. Go in front. All the students think it's good weather. All the students think it's good weather. Fantastico. Okay. Today, hoy. Vamos a describir fotos de Sheboygan. Oh. What are we going to do? Describe. Oh, describe the photos. Sí. Vamos a describir fotos de Sheboygan. Okay. When we're writing a good description, these are the things you need to think about. And yes, at some point you will have a test on whether or not you can actually do these things in Spanish. So pay attention, please. When you're writing a good description, it's good to think about, like, what is the picture of? What's in it? It's a lot of people. Think. Think. What's in the picture? What can you see? Okay? Where is the thing taking place? Do we know if it's a city, a state, or a country, or a park, or something like that? Okay? When does it take place? That could be a month, a day, a season. A year. It could be a morning, afternoon, like a specific time. Okay? And then you want to think about different things you can see in the picture and different things you can feel. And you're like, feel? What? Okay, close your eyes. Sierra los ojos. I'm going to describe something to you in English, and I want you to picture it. Okay? 
There are lots of people. It's hot. Do you have a full picture of what's happening? Yeah. No, you don't. Where are the people? Oh, I didn't say I was describing this picture. Close your eyes. Let's try again. There are two people. They are sitting on a frozen lake. It's dark because it's the middle of the night. There are thousands of bright white stars in the sky. The people are happy because they think it's beautiful. Which one gave you a better picture? The first or the second description? The second one. So the more detail that we can provide in our descriptions, the more realistic it's going to be. Okay? What if now I added to that description about the people in the nighttime and seeing the stars and frozen? I said, it's very cold and it's snowing. Can that almost make you feel like you're there then? A little bit, right? Because you can imagine what cold feels like. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about feel. I'm not like, ooh, they're touching the breast. Okay, we're talking about like, what does it feel like to be there? All right, remember, puntos para español. What do you get points for? C, okay. Es un parque. Is this a park? Yes. Yeah. Okay, park? Okay. Uh, who's my decision maker? I'm what color, being honest, because otherwise this is going to be real hard for all y'all. What color do you think we'll be able to see if I write on top of this? Uh, green. No, no. That's a uh, black. This is black. Okay. We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. S un parque. So we've said where it is, right? What's happening here? What's going on? What is this a picture of? Addy? So what are these people there for? Si, es un concierto. Es un concierto. Okay. Um, when is it? Could we give it like a month maybe? We can just guess based on what we see. Anna? Es junio? Sure. Español. Es junio. Is it julio or junio? Doesn't really matter. Either one would work. Es junio. Perfecto. Y now what can we see? What is there in the picture? I means there is or there are. So I what? Jack? Hay muchas personas. And what might you be able to feel? What's the weather like there? Don't forget, you can use our notes to help you. Captain? Muy calor. Hace mucho calor. Can we add another one to that? I think we can. Hace mucho calor y... Andres? Hace sol. You can see, even though you can't tell in the sky, you can see the light. Oh, I just wrote on top of that. You can see the light in the shadows. Hace sol. All right, so this is our goal, to come up with the when, the where, the what, what we can see, and what we can feel. Got it? All right, take a moment and tell each other what all these sentences mean in English. Go.
spelling Sheboygan. Anna? I'll say Frio. I'll say Frio or I'll say Mucho Frio? Mucho. Frio or Mucho Frio, Pate? Mucho Frio. Okay. I'll say Mucho Frio. Abby? Anna?
I'm waiting. Keep going. Your turn. Pick one of those sentences. Tell them what it means. All right. We'll do more. No. Use the use the sheet to help you. It's there on purpose. Cinco. Cuatro. Tres.
Julio, Julio, 
agosto, which one? Junio. Junio. June. Junio. Julio, July, Agosto, August. Lo siento. Es junio. I. What is there? I. Muchas, muchas personas. I muchas personas. Y el tiempo. Hace calor y hace calor y sol en el parque. All right. I'm going to read this to you in Spanish. If you're listening and trying to think about what the words mean. Hay un concierto en Sheboygan. Es junio. Hay muchas personas. Hace calor y sol en el parque. Your turn in English. Here we go. There is. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Whenever there's a moment of like oh, 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 noise that comes from you, I know I need to teach you something. So you don't need to be like, guys, guys, guys. I'll tell you. This word means there is or there are. If we're going to follow it with a concert, are we going to use there is or there are? There All right. Is. So there we go. Now we know what to say. Try it again. Here we go. There is a concert in Sheboygan. It is June. There are many people. It is. Do anyone remember? It's not it is. It's May. It's making something, it's not going to make hot, it's going to make heat. Heat. Yes, Jeremiah. All right, try again. Here we go. It makes heat and sun in the park. Fantastico. Grab something to write with. Yeah. As soon as you get your piece of paper, please put your name at the top. Like seriously, if your name's not on it, I can't give you any credit. You don't have to get a zero. So put your name on it. Andres? Let me see, okay, Maddie? What do you want to come through here? Can I draw stick people? Oh, yeah. Oh, you make that look like the writer's book anymore? Why don't you look it over and see if there's anything else you need? 